Watch this, here we go. Come on, guys. Get by me, huh? Got him. So we have a lot to do today. We're gonna to oh, in case I didn't tell you who this is, this is Brownie, and everybody remembers Jules, right? See, yeah, she's got nine. See, they're getting big. Hey guys, come on, see Daddy. Come on, you know you're hungry. Very nice, you I put these in here. These here are about four days old. And I put them in here for a little bit so that they can get this, this uh, vitamin D. This is almost like the sun. Catch of the day. The snakes have been really, really doing well here. Beautiful snakes, Johan. Yeah, it's almost like around breeding season for these guys. Our pineapple bushes are really, really looking good. Bacteria level is all neutralized now. Everything is awesome. Plant life is picking back up. Look, see the water is Johan. Yeah. Look at all the goldfish, Johan. Look at the feeder goldfish. Oh, look. They even got turtles in here. Very cool. Sliders. Pretty cool. Iguana people. You guessed it. It's another day with the iguana people. Today, the people are walking around the farm, and I tell you, it's always a new adventure with these guys. Recently, the people have acquired a new friend. No, it's not a person. But a dog. Seems these dog jewels had puppies and you gotta see him, y'all. He the most adorable dog you's ever seen. Stay tuned. The people are going all over town today. Now get ready for another great adventure with the iguana people as they live the farm life. And I tell you, everybody, it's the only life. We have a lot to do today. We're gonna take... Oh, in case I didn't tell you who this is, this is Brownie. And everybody remembers Jules, right? Of course, this is one of her babies. Brownie was born, I guess, about nine weeks ago. He, he's the only one we kept out of her litter. Bibbs had went to one of my family members. But we're going to take him today and get his shots. So we're going to be showing some more of that stuff where we go. I guess Grabby knows how to give shots. So we go over to the feed store. And it saves us a lot of money with the vet, vet bills. Um, Grabby's been doing this kind of thing for a long time. If you're not really, you know, knowledgeable about it, I would definitely take your dogs and your cats to the vet. Um, you got to know what you're doing when you're giving the dogs their shots. You got to make sure you know how how many pounds they weigh, et cetera, et cetera. Right, Grabby? Yes. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. But we have to do that today because we don't want any pargo problems or anything. And, and that's it. So stick by. We're going to see that. Usually we're out hunting iguanas, but today... In South Florida, it's been having endless, endless rainstorms. So, but now that it's raining, we hear a lot of things happening in the incubator today. So, what do you think has been happening? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. Okay, so the eggs, who, which we've been putting them in there every day, are starting to begin to hatch. So, what we got here... Oh my goodness, yo, hi. Oh, this little black one here and this watch one your, here. Watch your hand. And see, what we're doing here is we move, Look the, at them. we move these guys around, okay? You want to make sure inside of here you got to keep water in here because it's got to be perfect humidity. This runs about 100 degrees. This is the little uh, meter that, that says that. And what we'll do with these little guys since they hatched this, this morning... Cute little thing. Look okay. at it. He's very black, Johan. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what it is. These black ones have been turning a little bit white. Like, kind of, they're kind of like a mixed. I don't know. You know, they're mixed with uh, bantams and and something else. I don't know why they call them sexlings. Sexlings, uh, I don't know. Look how cute but it this is, one's Johan. cute. It's a little yellow one. So we'll put this one's in here and they'll hang out in there for a few hours. And what we'll do up here is we'll move these eggs around again. And then, you know, what happens when you do that, they start to, to hatch. Okay, so I start them off in here as an egg. When they start to hatch off, I'll put them down here. I call this the receiving Bertha. Okay, this here gives them the heat that they need. I also bring this up right here like that to keep that heat in a little bit. Just cover them right up, Johan. And I have another 
station over there when they get just a little bit bigger. Let's go check it out. Like these over here a little bit bigger. If you notice, I put these in here. These here are about four days old. And I put them in here for a little bit so that they can get this, this uh, vitamin D. This is almost like the sun. And they get really, you know, they get really uh, ambitious to move. They learn how to eat in the, in the little water. They got a little section over there that where I place the food. I use uh, a grower food. This stuff here, they, oh my goodness, they, they love this stuff. They love it, Johan. You know, I, I take care of them with this stuff and they grow by the day. This here's about maybe 36% in protein, you know, for the chick starter. So, so like I said, when they go from egg, we put them over there in an the incubator. Then they hatch out and then we put them in that little section over there to get to be a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. And when they start to get really wholesome like these guys, we move them outside, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But before I go outside, I gotta gather some stuff. I always grab the treats with my little handfuls of cuteness out there, but don't say nothing. <laughs> Let's go. I'm wondering where they are, but we're gonna show we're gonna show you uh, exactly what after that second tank. What we do, we put them in in the uh, holding holding systems here, and. Uh, just to get used to the big flock. Okay, we keep our roosters out here because they protect everything. Okay, so these are the little guys here. Remember, you see how much bigger that they're getting? They're very big, Johan. Yeah, and you see those those right there? Those started off as black ones. You know, just like those black ones that are in there. And now they're, they're getting to turn different colors. Um, the thing is, we put them close to the flock so the flock understands and smells them and gets used to them. You know, um, this little guy down here, this guy here. <laughs> He's a nice we, size, Johan. We've been keeping him, we've been keeping him, you know, protected because these guys over here, look at them. They're, they're they, looking at him, Johan. They yeah, want to bite. They want to bite. Here, let's see. Let's see. I always give them little treats. Look at this. Watch. Hey, Just nibble, nibble. Hey, nibble, nibble, nibbles. Nibble. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. So, they like anything these guys look they take banana peels they even eat the peel johan yeah they eat everything look <laughs> they're biting it yeah they bite they have a little they having a little snaggity snag oh my goodness look look, look watch watch this here we go come on guys oh, 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 oh. they're biting it ah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. look at some of the Look at some of the patterns on these guys, man. They're amazing. Come on, let's go over and see the goats. Hello. How are you today, Oreo? He's a good, he's a good boy, yeah, Johan. Here, have some. Oh, you don't like that, huh? You don't like that? It comes hey, to little Bucky. One. Hey, Bucky, what's happening? Oh, look at this. Huh? Yeah, try that. They're like bananas. No, they don't. They don't. They're real picky. These guys like them better. Look, 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 look. Hello! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> Man. Hello. Oh, they love bananas. You guys are going to get... Ow! 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 They're biting your finger, yo. Yeah, they are. Ow! 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 Damn! Oh! Oh! Ooh, look at this. Ooh. It's like a flock. It is like a flock. They are a flock. I'll eat it more than five birds in there. We have many birds, Johan. Look, I love these gray ones, man. Ow! Oh, yeah. Ow! It's biting. Ow! 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 Son of a gun. It looks like everybody's living as happy as can be. Okay, uh, we picked up uh, we picked up some um, new soil. We're going to be doing some stuff in here. We're going to be building some boxes. So I have to, uh, I have to get some of that compost that we have back there. And we're going to make a mixture. And we're gonna build some growing boxes in here. So put one in here. Cut right out. A little up boy. Oh look, Grabby made a little uh little doorway, yo. Little line. doorway because then roosters come up in here. Oop. Well. Oh, look I don't at know the... what happened to uh the feet, Ken. I had to break. I'm sorry, I swear there, Johan. Oh, look at that. 
Rod's Look at the colors, hey Johan. Yeah, see, they're getting big. Hey, guys, come on, see Daddy. Come on, you know you're hungry. What? What? Very nice, yeah. Johan. We should get more, Johan. Yeah, we're going to. These guys are doing really, really well. I'm pleased. Hello. So, so listen, guys. Um, we've been doing a lot of different things here. I don't know if you guys haven't seen that yet, but our, Look at that. our aquaponic system is doing really well. So what I did with this is I added an air blower to this system. As you can tell, it gives it a lot more oxygen. This here, this here has got a, uh, if you check it out, look in here, see? This is where the blower is. See that? Very nice, Johan. You gotta keep a little thing in here raised so you can let this breathe but yet it doesn't get any water in it. Very cool. I'm gonna, I'm, this is just temporary. I'm gonna put in a couple of pipes here for airlines and they're gonna do really well. I'm going to add some more bags to this. As you can tell, the bacteria level is all neutralized now. Everything is awesome. The plant life is picking back up. Look how clear the water is, Johan. Yeah. I mean, it's doing, it's doing beautiful. Doing beautiful. Look at this here. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. And I tell you, my uh, my plant life here is, is really thriving. Well, it's tomato plant. You got some peppers here that are really, really doing good. You gotta be very delicate with these guys. Let's move on. So uh, our pineapple bushes are really, really looking good. These are, it's time for these guys to go in, in the ground because they're really, really really coming up nice how i start these is i usually put them in the glass with uh water and then um when they get roots i'll put them in dirt here and let them grow and they'll grow just like you're seeing here <laughs> the funny thing about being a chicken tender which is lay laying laying eggs You'll know a good egg tender when you can see this. Watch this, guys. What are you doing, Johan? Uh, uh. See that? It's like balancing, Johan. Yeah, it's called chicken tendering. That's how you can tell. That's how you can tell you're keeping your eggs at the right temperature. At 51 um, humidity and 100 degrees, and you produce females. You see that? They sit just right. Look at that, guys. You're not going to see that anywhere else. It's pretty interesting, ain't it? I love being a farmer. So, as we all know, the snakes have been really, really doing well here. Beautiful it, snakes, Johan. Yeah, it's almost like around breeding season for these guys. But look, they love each other. I'm waiting to come in one day and find, you know, what's going on here. They're a little chilly, but come on, come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, she's all, she's all in a circle, yo. Huh? Yeah, she's, she's looking for warmth, you know, definitely looking for warmth. I don't know. I, I think we told you guys many times that, uh, that when we're out, you know, people, people, people actually throw these out. These are pets and, you know, they throw these guys out because they can't afford to feed them anymore. It's a shame, Johan. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, uh, we've gotten some of these from people, other hunters that find them out there. You know, and uh, that's how it's been going lately. It's uh, it's really... Lift the top up a little, Johan. It'll go in. Oh, is it? oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's got a, a locking device. But yeah, even these guys here, look, they've been hanging out together there, and I just don't feel like catching them all up, <laughs> mm -hmm. because, you know, it's it's getting a little cool out for being in South Florida. Like I said, 70, 72, 73 degrees is not cold for us, but when it, come, when it comes to the, the snakes and and iguanas and stuff like like today we, we'd be normally out there hunting but since it's rainy and right now it's uh probably like 70 degrees you're not gonna find no iguana out there 
I mean, you might find some up in the trees and, and all of that. But why are you going to go waste your day <laughs> out there in the rain? No brainer. So let's go on over to the feed stall. Let's gather up the dogs and go over there and see what we got going on. I know Grabby is anxious to get some of those shots for the dog. And uh, he's, uh, you should see him out there. He's out there singing in the rain like Fred Astaire. go here and get some shots in here we're gonna be doing that and grabby will be uh you know doing the administering doing the dirty deal because i'm not gonna let these dogs think that i do laying hands on stock look oh well, look they got rabbits too let's go inside look at all the rabbits yo look at these little guys they they obviously hatching eggs too those are the same ones that we're getting beautiful johan yeah look at this look at the baby oh look at the baby she's ready to get her shot Oh my goodness. We're over here at uh, Okeechobee Feed. That's where we pick up most of our stuff. And I'll tell you, if you ever want to get some of this. Oh, it's delicious, yo, huh? Pickled okra from these people. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, wow. Well, they Everybody got, yo, They got eggs. more eggs. Everybody brings their eggs in here. Look, they're, they're nice and poopy. Look, they're nice and like different colors, yo, huh? Very poopy. Very poopy. Poop. Look, there's a 2K. Look at that. Get go right there. How beautiful is that, Johan? We catch them all the time. Look at this. Pine frog. A gecko. Oh, leopard gecko. Look, look at him walking. Wow, what a beautiful yeah. lizard, Johan. There he is. Look at him. He's saying hello. Amazon tree boa. They always have these, Johan. It looks like he's cooking in there. It does. Hmm. Well, butterfly. A gamma. A gamma. Let me see him. Yeah. They, they charge thirty dollars for them things. That's they a good got, price. We got, we got them running around all over the place. Unbelievable. Now we got fish over here. Look. Goldfish. Goldfish are very nice. Hotfish. Nice little stall, yo, huh? It's a nice little place. They got a little bit of everything. Look at all the goldfish, Johan. Yeah, those are feeder goldfish. Oh, look. They even got turtles in here. Very cool. Sliders. Pretty cool. So we have to go over to track the supply because the feed, the feed store just doesn't have any any stuff available today. Everything is uh, on back order. Let's see what they got in here. Let's look. They always have good animals here, Johan. Oh, they got rabbits. They got rabbits and they got mole rabbits. They got a handful of cuteness, Johan. Oh, they got bullets. Oh, look at these guys. Cochin, straight run. Five. Look at his feet. Look at his feet. Oh, my goodness. Very beautiful chicken. Yeah, it is. What do we got over here? Black. Black chickens. These are black Australops. Hmm. Coachins, huh? That's pretty cool, coachins. Mm. Mm. Well, we better run over to track the supply. Let's go. Yep. Check it out, right up there. It says track the supply. We love track the supply, Johan. We had to come track the supply. Got to see if we can get our dogs shots. So. Stick by, let's see how it goes. See, yeah, she's about, nine, so cute. she's about nine weeks old. She's gonna go get some shots. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so if you ever come here, track the supply. They have all kinds of stuff. It's like a Home Depot for dogs, cats, animals. Uh, everything but a tractor. Yeah, it's very it's, strange that they don't have tractors here, Johan. They don't look, they have little redneck mobiles. For look, the, look, for your little, for your little, little uh, redneck, little and redneck kid. In training, they got other little, uh, Trucks. Trucks with a little redneck and training. And uh, what else do they got here? Everything but tractor supplies. So they got everything in the refrigerator. You need this one? You need any warmer? I don't know for this that one. That is so cute. For this little guy. Oh my. Okay, I'll take it up front. All right, so we gotta, they got to bring up the stuff because in case somebody wants to do some stuff with it. Look, but like I said, guys, you ever come here? They got everything. Everything. They got all of this stuff. They got shovels. They got. They got everything. They got bird food. 
Wild bird feed? Yeah, you know, you don't want to give the birds wild bird feed. Why, Johan? Because they get wild. Oh, yeah. They do. See, look. That's what you got? They, you got wild bird feed right there. They got there. wild bird food, Johan. No, you don't, want to, you don't want to give your birds that. Oh, hell you know no. Why, why Johan? Because they get wild. What are we doing, Johan? We're paying for this thing. What are you going to do? Shoot them up here? Yeah, I'm going to give it to them here. Here, give it up. Oh, here, baby. Go ahead. I don't want to take it outside and let it get hot. Yeah. Look, he's going to do this pretty good. Look. I'm going to hold her. Let's move over here. here. It has some of these people's work. All right. Uh, uh. The blanket. Grab it, giving them a little shot. Yeah. Get the shot ready. Oh. <laughs> uh, so. Yes, please. So look, this is how he's gonna hook this up. Man, that's a big ass needle, Grabby. Look yes, at that. It is. Oh, it's good for them though, Johan. Thank you, my dear. Ooh. Oh, no, it ain't that. Yeah, yeah. It's a little needle, Johan. Yeah, it is. Well, they have to, that's so why they... What you get is you get a liquid form and you get a powdered form. I'm coming. So what you got to do is get all the liquid form first. Yeah, it's almost like your main line in that shit. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That'll be good for the dogs, Johan. Yeah. Good for the dogs. Should do. Who's going first? I don't know. Apparently. I think Brownie's going first. Jules don't get hers yet. Yeah, because this is all one shot. You know, for for one dog. Well, now will he get a fever from this at, at all, Grabby? Yeah, he might be a little tired or something. Right. Uh, it all it all depends on the dog. Is that is that uh, uh does that go into the vein? No, no. You pinch the back of his neck and you just put it up under the skin. Oh my goodness! You got a strong, yeah, thank you and so strong heart, man. I tell you, yes, I can. What? Oh, yeah. He's shaking it He's up. Shaking it up. Look what he can do. Look what I can do. <laughs> Look what he can do. Yeah. Gotta get my fix ready. Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm already shaking. Well, yeah, you are. <laughs> you are shaking, Gravy. Oh, look at that. So you gotta mix two different compounds together yeah. for it to make it and work. Anybody who's watching, it's best to do it like this because if it gets out and gets in room temperature, you just wasted your money because it won't work. Here we go. Take a pinch. Is there something wrong with that? How it's going. Just taking my time with it. He don't Here even feel go. that good boy. What a good boy. You don't even feel that. You got that now. Yep. So here we go. With this thing here, we want to make sure that we cover that safely. And then we dispose of it. Well, Very nice, Johan. That's it, guys. So, what do you have to say? Uh, the little guy, he's all he's all taken care of with his parvo shot and, and all of that good stuff, right, Brownie? Say hello to Brownie, guys. He's a good boy, Johan. He's just a baby. He's a handful of cuteness. Oh, look at Joe. Joe. You might take it. Take, take, take it. Oh, take it. Here we go. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. Probably not going to take much of anything now, being that shot. Yeah. Aww. Here we go. So, guys, like I said, people here at, at uh, Tractor Supply, if you guys are, are not friends of mine, you guys should subscribe today. And if you guys are over here in Okeechobee, you should definitely come over and check out Miss Casey. Because she's the one with the plan. She's got all of the biscuits and the treats for the dogs. And I appreciate your time, guys. Thanks a lot for coming to the video. Have a great day. Thanks for coming to the video, everybody. Now's the time to like, comment, and subscribe to Sunset Aquatics on YouTube.